the W yesterday to start off the season. Oakland Brown, our first battle. Brown's going to hack the first pitch he sees. Flails one out into short left field, and there's Kevin Graham getting some early action for the first. Bobby Miller's got a 1 2 count. Here he goes. He kicks, fires, comes inside, and Servidio will be aboard this time with the hit by pitch. He's going to jump on the first pitch. He sees find the deep left field corner. Chatney's head in the second. Servidio waved home. The Rebels are going to have an early lead in this one. Yeah, we heard Mike Pianco yesterday talk about almost not being on time on fastballs. Well, here is one early in the game today. Chatney, 95 mile an hour fastball, turns it around, drives it into the corner. And that speed of Servidio able to come all the way around. There's that fastball right down the heart of the plate. What a great swing by Chatney. Drives out and keeps it fair. By the time Usher is able to get to this baseball, and if you see it kind of hangs up on the wall, gives her video a chance to come all the way around. The Rebels get the early lead. Let's see if he can put this ball in play. Ground ball will score a run. He does pound it into the ground to the right side. Chatney comes home to score. It's 2-0 Rebels. That's exactly what we just talked about. Get to that position. No one's looking to drive. It's kind of hitting for the team. Shorten up, put the ball in play because the ground. Baker trying to take this one for a drive to left center field. Kiss it goodbye. His first career home run is an Ole Miss Rebel. Makes it 3-0 here in the bottom of the first. Yeah, and again, the Rebels on time on a fastball. That one 97 on the scoreboard. Baker able to get the barrel to it and hit an absolute no doubt out of the ballpark to left field. Again, Baker gets that foot down. He knows it. Imagine we watch Miller right here. He knows it as well. That ball was absolutely hammered. No question about it. A little bit of wind help today blowing out. And Rebels off to a tremendous start here in game two. See a really perfect weekend. A little bit warmer even tomorrow for game three of this series. Kevin Graham trying to track this ball back to the wall. It'll ricochet off the bullpen. And Zach Britton, who had the big RBI double a day ago, stays hot here on a Saturday. Uh, Louisville certainly wants to come back and answer. Ole Miss with a really good offensive bottom of the first inning. Britton comes right back, takes this fastball that's down and away. He gets it up into that win. I think it fools Kevin Graham just a little bit. That ball. Here's Davis. Trying to answer with a shot of his own. This one's going to go off the wall in left center. No question, Britton's going to come around to score. And just like yesterday, Britton and Davis with back-to-back -back doubles that results in a run. Credit Louisville. How about just coming right back and answering a three-run bottom of the first with a couple of doubles hammered off the wall yourself. This is that break ball. This one is up in the zone. Davis with a really good swing. That is one as a hitter. You don't want to miss that one. Hanging breaking ball up. When Davis did not, short hops the wall. One. Two two offering roped out towards center field for the first time. We'll see Kate Sammons on the run. Won't get there. That ball's gonna hop up off the wall. Britton thinking three, and he's gonna get there without any issues. A one out triple for Zach Britton. Have yourself a weekend. Second time today that we have seen Britton just hammer one. This time, Salmon's out in center field. See, Britton stays back. Well, what a good stroke right there. Stays short to the baseball, gets the barrel on it. Salmon's a little bit of delay jump. Kind of see false step right there as he goes back. It looks like he thinks he's going to get it. Ball goes just over his glove. What great hustle by Britton. Never slowing down. Decides he is going to get to third base. Able to do so without a throw. This one's going to be lifted into shallow right field. Chatnier unable to field it. This one's going to score at least one run. Davis winds up on second base, and all of a sudden, Louisville within one. A really good piece of two-strike hitting right here. You know if you put the ball in play, we talked about a man on third base, you have an opportunity to score a run. This ball's way off the plate. Just shortens up, puts it in play. Chatnier's got to go a long way. He does get to it. Kicks off the heel of his glove. Hard hit ball into left field. Levi Usher with his first hit as a Louisville Cardinal. Nice piece of hitting for the leadoff man here in the fifth inning. 
He swings at the first pitch. He sees. Saw no action last year. Sometimes a coach just has the premonition to put a guy out there in the box. And Andrew Benefield comes through to tie this game up at three. First pitch breakable. That ball is down and away. That is not a bad. Chatney staying hot here in his opening weekend as a rebel. There's a leadoff single for the freshman. Boy, talk about impressive for a kid coming in and really impressed everybody all fall. That ball's going to sneak inside the bag on the third base line. Kale Baker churning for two. He's already given the Rebels the lead. And with one out, he's standing on second base. 4-3 Ole Miss. What a day by the big guy. Fastball in right there. Turns on it. Pick up a big RBI. RBI number two. Back and forth game today. And he's back on top again. 3-2 fastball. Was supposed to be in. Did not get in that far, but it turns on and hammers it down the line. We talked about Ole Miss replacing more than 60% of almost all of their important offensive stats, but with new faces like Kale Baker, Peyton Chatney, you're seeing the guys who can step in and see what he has in store for rushing. Hard hit line drive. This one carrying off the wall in left center field. Rushing trying to get to second. Will find himself with a one out double. That ball was smacked. Yeah, Dan McDonald chooses to stay with the left on left matchup and rushing. Makes him look like a genius. Fastball out over the plate, and rushing just a couple of feet right there from tying this baseball game up. Stayed back, drove it. You're facing the freshman, Benji Gilbert. This one looks like it might drop out in left field, and will around third comes Sang. The throw will be cut off by Keenan. That ties the game up. Now a rundown between first and second. Chatney tags Levy for the second out. Levy gets the job done. It's a 4-4 contest between the Cards and Revs. Levy, Levy able to muscle one out there. You see his ball's in on him, kind of muscles it out, saying a great read at second base. No hesitation, able to come around. Credit Ole Miss here. Hits the cutoff man. Kevin Graham does. Throw gets to Elko. Quick throw out to second base. A able to make the tag. And... Littered throughout the baseball Some, base, some baseball community. in that family. Yeah, no doubt. Elko launches one out towards right field. At the wall, jumping, but won't get it as Oriente and Tim Elko has his fist raised in the air. Five, four, Rebels. Did not know if Elko had enough of that one or not. That was way up in the air. Just enough. That's all out over the plate. Elko. Young man that did has just been waiting for these kind of moments. See right here, because lots of pop. Kind of under that one. Didn't really get it all. Oriente goes back to right field, all the way to the wall, and hoping there's room. Not, and of course, that creates showers in the outfield. It's lazy when one leaves the ballpark. Lots of for Dan McDonald's bunch. I'm showing you why right here. This is going to drop this one down in front of Justin Bench in right field for a leadoff single. This is a line drive out to center field. It's going to drop in front of Salmon's back-to-back -back singles for the Cardinals here in the top of the seventh inning. Certainly a matchup to keep an eye on before Benefield swings at this one, tracking it down in right field, Justin Bench, but it's deep enough to bring home the game tying run. Back and forth we go here at Swayze Field. What a matchup it's been between the Cardinals and Rebels. Our scoreboard shows five runs apiece. Here's his first hit in the 2020 campaign. Knew it would come sooner than later. Had an RBI ground out. Another big swing from Kale Baker. Another home run for number 19. Ole Miss back on top again. Have yourself an afternoon, Kale Baker. Certainly locked in at the plate. There is no question about it. Got himself into a fastball count. And absolutely hammered this ball for the second time of the day. My goodness. Look at that celebration at the plate in a game that has just gone back and forth and back and forth. That was in the bottom of the seventh inning. Baker, what a day. Didn't hit a triple. 
That's the fastball. It's grooved. It's right there. And when you're seeing as good as he is, can't throw that one to Mr. Baker. It ends up out in left field stands. Absolutely no doubt once that ball left the bat. A little bit of wind still blowing out to left field. Fans get a souvenir, big cheer, and Rebels back up by two. Nothing since. One two pitch with one out. Hard hit ball to the gap in right center field. He's going to have extra bases again. That's all the kid seems to do. Extra base hit after extra base hit. Another Rebel in scoring position. Now this is some kind of good piece of hitting right here. This is a changeup. Watch this ball dive down and away. That's a pitcher's pitch. Yeah, that's one Poland wants to throw. Graham keeps the hands. Third baseman, Benefield, unable to glove that one. Justin Bench aboard again. First time he. Chance for two here. Bianco to second. The throw to first won't get there. Elko hustles down the line. Graham scores. All this tax on another. 8-5. Rebels. Yeah, ben Bianco headed to see. Do work. Looking for those two final outs here in game two of the series. This ball hit hard by Oriente out towards the wall and giving up his Cade Salmons. Here comes Louisville. A home run here with one out in the top of the ninth. Yeah, Mike Bianco is going to challenge the hitter. There's no question right there. Oriente is going to get a fastball on the 3-1 count. It was up in the zone, and as we have seen, the ball will leave the ballpark today. Good swing by Oriente. It's his third career home run. And they're chipping away at this lead and looking to get some more runners on. 3-1 yeah, fastball, hard of the plate. Austin Miller immediately knew it. Simmons chased it back to the wall. No chance to get it. Field here from the windup. Ground ball left side. Keenan's not going to get to it. Benefield has at least two here. He'll get in there with a stand up double. One out. Louisville will have the tying run come to the plate here on the top of the ninth. Ball. See what Britain does right here. This is the guy you want at the plate if you're a Louisville Cardinal fan. And that gets away from Forsyth off the padding of Dunhurst towards the Ole Miss dugout. Just like that, the Cardinals have two in scoring position, and that takes away. And of course, the Ole Miss coach's son in the on-deck circle if things were to play out a certain way. Right now, it's Forsyth and Davis. And after the pitch that skips off the dirt and off the catcher's chest protector, the first-year Rebel able to for us. We're having fun. Count full. Braden Foresight. Payoff pitch. Swung on and missed. Ole Miss is going to get their first win of the season here in the opening weekend. Tie this series up one game apiece. And tomorrow, we've got the rubber match between these two top 25 foes, Keith Kessinger. How excited are you for this Sunday uh, match? The, the way this one played out, I don't, I don't know what tomorrow could possibly bring us.